Breaking news at this hour on the Korean Peninsula where military mobilization, both north and south borders, uh, as there has been rumor that a possible North Korean military coup is taking place, uh, overthrowing the government there. More on this story from our correspondent covering the Paralympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea, uh, Tom Robinson. You have the latest. Hi, Jason. We have been receiving reports all day that there has been a military takeover in North Korea. With the Paralympics currently shut down and the whole country of South Korea on high alert, there has been nothing for these travelers to do. Word spread fast over social media that there has been a forceful takeover in North Korea or the possibility of it. We do not know how the story started and it has yet to be confirmed, but we will keep you updated with the latest. Uh, Tom, what seems to be the motion on the ground? What are people saying? What are people doing? Well, Tom, the situation has now bordered on chaos. People came here to watch the Paralympics, and now they have no idea what to do. Some people have huddled in houses and started putting boards on the windows. Others are with their loved ones. We are waiting on more information. Uh, Tom, it sounds like it's a bit uh, chaotic over there, a little crazy, wouldn't you say? Uh, now, there is some report coming in. I have here that the U.S. Paralympics team, both athletes and uh, staff, including coaches, some of them have gone missing. Is that true? Uh, and is this have, does this have anything to do with this possible mobilization that we're hearing about? Does this have something to do with the chaotic state that you're seeing there now? Jason, it really has been chaos since this morning with the news of the coup. People are now on edge waiting for news and mobilization talks have made people very nervous uh, are you hearing anything from the president of south korea anything from seoul jason that is the odd thing there has been no statement from south korea uh, their government has been completely silent and the north has been also silent they don't really seem to know what is going on uh, so tom what have you heard what are the rumors uh, there have been lots of things, Jason. Rumors of Kim Jong-un's assassination, rumors of the United States' involvement, and other rumors that another country has come into play. We are still waiting for more information. Thank you, Tom. We'll get back to you soon. We're now going to go over to our correspondent in Beijing, uh, over to Gene. Gene Rayburn, how you doing? Hello, Jason. Since the news of North Korea's military mobilization, Chinese officials seem to be at a loss. They never expected this isolated state would seemingly make a move against China, one of their only allies. Has the Chinese president made a statement of any kind? Are you hearing anything from the Chinese government? Um, we haven't heard much yet. Chinese officials are saying they're very angry North Korea has been acting like, in their words, a petulant child to China and betraying their partnership. There will be no definitive policy change until China knows exactly what has happened. But this incident certainly has China rethinking their dealings with North Korea. Uh, Gene, I'm going to stop you there for a moment. We're going to go back to Pyeongchang and talk to Tom. Apparently, there is a statement from the South Korean president. Tom? Thank you, Jason. Some breaking news right now. A impromptu press conference from Moon Jae-un where he has made a statement. I will read it to you now. He's advising all South Korean citizens and visitors to remain calm. There hasn't been any increased activity at the border since yesterday, but he still advises everyone to stay indoors. The U.S. and South Korean forces have amassed on the border, preparing for the worst. He says they have received some stress calls, but they cannot give any more at this time. The president has declined to answer any further questions. There has been nothing confirmed about the coup, but we will keep you updated as more information comes into our station. Thank you, Tom. Uh, as is typical fashion with this current administration, President Donald Trump has just issued a tweet. Uh, I believe we have a copy up here on the screen. Uh, disappointing that North Korea has ruined a deal by the U.S. by mobilizing and breaking promises. Could have been a great thing for our world. Kim Jong-un was crazy to threaten the U.S. We will always deal with threats. The American military and people are strong. 
and now for more information, our foreign correspondent, Judy Millis, who's in London covering the Russian assassination story we've been following. Uh, Judy Millis, what's going on there in London? Good evening, Jason. Needless to say, all here in London are following this situation with grave concern bordering on alarm. Now, Judy, what do you make of the specific comment, we will always deal with threats? Uh, is this a possible indication of some kind of military action taken by the U.S.? Well, Jason, we're now seeing the classic mid-course correction, so typical of this administration. A few days ago, the president was singing the praises of the deal he was going to negotiate with Kim Jong-un. And now that North Korea has tricked him, surprising very few, and violating their promises, as many predicted they would, the president is flexing the military might of the United States, trying to avoid looking like a fool. Thanks, Judy. Um, as is typical with the administration, uh, this tweet could have bearing on actual foreign policy uh, as we see what continues to develop on the Korean Peninsula. And we'll continue to follow this story as it develops. Uh, in Washington, Jason Ellis.